language. On the top are all the controls for the field and the program. And on the right here is some useful panel and the field where you can find your robot. Starting with the blocks here, I'm going to create a quick move forward and turn program. Perfectly crafted. As we can see when I hit initialize and start, it moves forward and rotates. But I don't want to recreate this program every time I open this simulator up, so be sure to save your program. I'll name mine Hello World, and then upon refreshing the site, I can access this dropdown and find my Hello World program. Some other useful features here is that with this lessons panel, it gives you some excellent lessons curated for beginners to advance. And the other feature I'd like to mention is everything in the new program button, which allows you to one, access some sample program, two, upload a .blk block file that's been downloaded onto your computer, which gives you the ability to essentially transfer block programs across simulators, or even between FTC and this simulator. And three, this last button here provides you the ability to convert your block programs into a Java program. So, you can get used to seeing how your programs will look in Java. Alright, now let's go back to the main menu and test out some driver control telia. For the ability to control your robot, it'd be preferable to use some type of controller. Any is allowed as long as they connect to your computer. And for a quick setup, let's select single player. Here's the control scheme here. You can move around with the joystick with the added ability to shoot by holding left trigger to rev up the shooter and pressing right trigger to launch the ring. We can go ahead and intake some more rings with the B button and running into them here. And we also even have the ability to lift up a wobble goal by holding the right bumper on the controller and putting the wobble goal right up in front of our robot. Now we can drop it into a scoring plate for endgame. Great, now that we're familiar with the controls, we can go ahead and hit play in the top left here. And you can see a full game will run with some rings getting returned. Now let's get into the fun part, playing with friends. This is a really simple process that requires just one person as a host to enter in their name after returning to this menu and selecting multiplayer. Click the right arrow here to switch from join field to great field, and then enter in a field name with the total number of players you will have. Finally, hit create. Now everyone else can select multiplayer and look for that field name to join into after entering in their own name, of course. Everyone should start appearing on the one field to which some customization can be set for teams, positions, randomizations, and camera angles. Now the wait is over. Go on and hit start and enjoy robots clashing, rings tossed everywhere, and the ultimate race towards rings and wobble goals.